Hi guys, ayun, this is your Kamotor Kevin and dito ulit tayo for the part 2 of what motorcycle should you get. So after discussing in part 1 the kinds of transmission and anong pagkakaiba-iba ng bawat transmission na to and how you will operate them. Now in part 2, uh, we, we will now discuss or compare each transmission depending on different factors. So, tapos mo tong video to so you would know the difference of each transmission depending on the factors that I will tell you so if you like this video uh, kindly like comment and subscribe to my channel and support me on my Facebook page and YouTube channel uh, links are in the description below so enjoy watching guys So now that we're done discussing about the uh, kinds of transmission and kung paano may operate yung motorcycle mo. So now let's compare each transmission based on my experience para mas lalo nung maintindihan ang pagkakaiba ng bawat isa. Dahil for daily use mong gagamitin tong motorcycle mo. So first let's consider the traffic. So ano nga ba ang pagkakaiba ng manual, semi-automatic and automatic on traffic. So Sa traffic, ang manual para sa akin ay nakakapagod. Kasi, every stop and go mo, you need to hold the clutch, press down the clutch, kada may gagawin ka shifting ng gear. So, nakakapagod siya. Kasi everything is working, di ba? Simula sa amay mo and paa mo, yun ang magtatrabaho. So, nakakapagod siya pag traffic. So, semi-automatic, syempre, less hassle siya because di na kailangan yung kamay mong mag-clutch. Kailangan mo nalang kontrolin yung uh, gears mo, kung nasan gear ka pag andar doon and magandaan pa dito sa semi-automatic hindi mo na rin kailangan magpalit-palit ng gear any gear, any kung nasa ang gear ka man, pwedeng umandar yung motorcycle mo, press mo lang yung throttle kung traffic man, nag-stop ka same gear wala kang ginalaw, pag pinress mo yung throttle makakandar ka na uli and, and for automatic naman, ito yung sobrang dali talaga kasi pag traffic stop mo lang uh, throttle, wala, throttle lang talaga yung iisipin mo, so sobrang dali ng automatic, for traffic I highly suggest the automatic madali din, singit singit diba? next naman uh, let's consider naman for long rides mga lalayo ang biyahe so para sa mga lalayo ang biyahe uh, gusto ko yung manual transmission, kasi sa manual transmission uh Everything is working eh. Siyempre, malayo ang biyaya yan. Hindi ka antukin sa kalsada. Kasi you need to focus on what gear uh, ka tumatakbo. And siyempre, yung clutch mo, everything is working sa'yo. So, gumagana yung buong katawan mo. So, uh, hindi ka antukin. Yun ang gusto ko sa manual pag long ride. So, pag semi-automatic, siyempre yun. Normal, shifting ng gears pa alam. So, meron pa rin work na ginagawa. So, Siguro, hindi ka rin masyadong maantok eh. Pero for automatic uh, motorcycles, you just need to press the throttle. Manood ka lang. Chill lang talaga. Yun nga, kagandaan, chill ka lang. Pero, yun nga, baka antokin ka naman. So, sobrang chill lang. Kasi, focus mo lang daan and control ng bike. So, next naman natin is safety in terms of controls. For me, mas safe. Uh, for me, uh, manual transmission is safer because ayun niya, uh, ayun niya uh, pag naaksidente ka man, wag naman sana naaksidente ka hindi naaksidente ka, nabitawan mo yung clutch mo clutch lever, nabitawan mo mamatay na engine mo, hindi ka na niya kakalad ka rin palalo diba, pag nabitawan mo yung clutch patay siya hindi na kakalad ka rin pa kahit nakatumba ka na pero with the semi-automatic naman, kung mabangga ka or matumba ka Pagka napiga mo yung throttle mo, tutuloy-tuloy pa rin siya. Aandar pa rin siya, hindi mamatay yung makina. Kahit na nasa anong gear ka, di ba? Same with the automatic. Pagka bumangga ka or kumumba ka, tapos napiga mo yung uh, throttle mo, kakalad ka rin kanya. Mas mapapalala yung discretion, di ba? So, isa yun yung gusto kong safety feature ng manual. Next is the gas consumption. So, ito yung hindi ko na masasagot because uh, the technology nowadays is 
patipira na bawat motorcycle kahit ano pang transmission niyan uh, patipira na yung labanan talaga nila so ang masasabi ko na lang is that matipid talagang magmotor matipid sa gas matipid sa gas magmotor yun na lang masasabi ko hindi ko na i-compare pa kasi lahat yun maglalaro lang yun from 35 to 70 km per liter o oh, diba sobrang tipid na talaga nun so gas consumption any of those okay yun hi mga motor so ayun tapos na tayo sa part 1 and part 2 ng ating series na what kind of motorcycle should you get so after knowing the part 1 and part 2 syempre alam ko excited ka na to watch part 3 and malaman pa pa ang ibang factors na iyong kailangan i-consider para sa pagpili mo kung anong motor ang bagay sa'yo So watch out for part number 3. If you like this video, you can like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and support me in my Facebook page. Links are in the description section. So guys, ayun, muli ako ang iyong kamotor Kevin. So ride safe always and God bless us all. Salamat sa panood. Bye!